Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Tech Geeks, where I, Rachna Sharma, upload videos, lectures, tutorials, career guidance videos, exam related videos on food science and technology. So this video is uh, regarding the notification issued by FSSCI for CBT2 for various posts including technical officer, central food safety officer, assistant manager and assistant manager. IT. So uh, you know that recently uh, the CBT1 for these posts has been uh, conducted and now the examination pattern and syllabus for CBT2 has been issued by FSSI. So in this video we are going to discuss the notification in detail. So without further ado let's start the video. So the given notification is for the examination scheme and syllabus for the given four posts. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, majorly for technical officer and central food safety officer. So starting with scheme of examination. So the total number of questions will be 80 and the time period will be 180 minutes. And you can expect 50% of the question as for moderate level. 30% questions on easy level and 20% questions will be on difficult level. So this is the level of questions in the examination. And if I talk about the types of question. So when we compare it with CBT1, in CBT1, all the questions were multiple choice questions in which one uh, option was correct. So every question was based on that pattern. But here there is a lot difference from the CBT1. So in CBT2, you will be having six different types of questions and division is being given here. 30 questions will be those questions where only one option will be correct out of the four options. So these single correct option type questions will be 30 in number and this is how the marking will be done. Plus two will be given for correct answers and there will be negative marking of 0 0.5. So this is how these questions will be marked. Then there will be 20 questions in which multiple uh, 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 correct answers will be there like four options are given so more than one option will be correct so uh, those will be 20 in number and the marking scheme is being given plus four if you have chosen all the correct options and if you have chosen only two or three uh, correct options then accordingly the partial markings will be done and there will be negative marking of minus two so this is how uh, these questions will be marked then you will have fill in the blanks and in that also you will be have two different categories. So one category will be there where you will have two blanks and uh, such questions will be five. And then you will have 10 questions in which only one blank will be given in the fill in the blanks. So these are the two categories of the fill in the blank questions. Then 10 questions will be based on comprehension and five questions will be uh, based on matching list. So these are the six different uh, categories of questions which will be asked in CBT2 and a complete uh, marking scheme is also being given here. So there is negative marking in each of these type of questions. So it is very important to uh, consider that thing. So this is how the questions are being uh, set up. Now if we talk about the syllabus. So the syllabus is again the same for technical officer and food safety officer. So when you will compare the syllabus with CBT1, the syllabus is being reduced a lot as compared to CBT1. In CBT1, every uh, aspect of food technology has been uh, covered, including the domains of the food technology, then the uh, uh, regulatory bodies, food laws and standards, FSSI and international regulatory bodies. But here you will see that the syllabus has been reduced a lot. But yes, it has been concentrated. And when I say concentrated, that means that the syllabus has been reduced. But now you have to cover each and every topic with very minute details because you have seen uh, the question patterns and you can only attempt those questions when you will have a deep understanding and knowledge of all these topics. So uh, you need to go through the syllabus very deeply. So if we discuss the uh, subject and syllabus, so broadly three topics are there. One being principle of food preservation, processing and packaging and the sub op uh, topics are being given here. Then you will have the next unit that is food chemistry and nutrition. And then there is food microbiology and general principles of food hygiene. So major and uh, important domains of food technology has been covered in this syllabus. So 
that's only the syllabus they are uh, giving no fssai and nothing on food regulatory bodies so yes that syllabus has been reduced but it's in concentrated form so start your practice and on food tech geeks also we will be coming up with videos where i will be discussing uh, different uh, topics uh, in form of mcqs and the fill in the blanks and matching list like we will be having the videos in the same pattern as the pattern is given for the question paper so that will give you a good practice so stay tuned for more updates and share this video with your friends and classmates till then stay safe stay healthy thank you